The economic effects of the coronavirus could be huge, especially in Europe. Italy is already Europe's problem economy. By some measures, it's the fourth most indebted economy in the world. And now it's being hammered by corona. Hundreds have died. The entire country is on lockdown. Only food shops, pharmacies, and other very essential services are open. Jeremy Warner wrote in the Telegraph that as if deliberately, COVID-19 has hit the Eurozone just where it hurts most, Italy. The IMF's former deputy director in Europe, Ashoka Modi, has warned that Italy will require 500 to 700 billion dollars to get back on its feet. This is huge. It completely dwarfs any of the previous European Union bailouts. Italy's banks are struggling. Without this kind of help, you could have a banking crisis that could spread throughout Europe and even the world. Right now, Europe is stuck in an awkward halfway state on its way towards being a super state. If you look at the United States, the states there all share a currency, and there's all kinds of ways for money to flow through the different states. All the states pay money into one federal pot, for example, in the form of federal taxation. So that if one state suffers, well, all the states help share some of the pain and help them recover. The federal government oversees banks in all of the states, and they promise to guarantee uh, a certain amount of those bank funds in an emergency. And these type of measures help prevent a whole lot of crises. Europe lacks that. The Eurozone shares a currency, but there's no real federal pot of money, and there's only a very weak federal government right now, and there's not really any kind of federal bank guarantees. But coronavirus could change that. It could force Europe to finally put these very practical nuts and bolts of a superstate into place. Jeremy Warner wrote in The Telegraph that coronavirus may therefore be the crisis that finally brings about lasting solutions. He wrote that another doom loop would surely either force Italy out of the euro altogether, or more likely, result in it agreeing the terms demanded for a properly functioning banking union. Jean Monnet, one of the EU's founding fathers, he wrote that Europe will be forged in crises and will be the sum of the solutions adopted for those crises. Former German finance minister Wolfgang Schäuble made a similar point in 2011. He said that crises represent an opportunity. And he said that Europe always moved forward in times of crisis. Sometimes you need a little pressure for certain decisions to be taken. Coronavirus could help provide that pressure. We have long forecast the arrival of a 10 nation superstate in Europe. This power is described in biblical passages like Revelation chapter 17. Now with a common currency, the Eurozone is already a long way towards being that superstate. Crises like coronavirus and others could help it get the rest of the way. You need to learn now about this European power because it could be on the scene very soon. To do that, you could read our Trends article, Why the Trumpet Watches Europe's Ongoing Unification Project. That article will show you that Herbert W. Armstrong forecast this European power decades ago. He was even saying that Europe would come together as a European Union as far back as 1945, well before anyone else was using that term. That article will take you through the scriptures that point to this superpower and show the role that it will have in world events and in your life. You can read that article by clicking the link in the description, or you can head over to the trend section of our website, thetrumpet.com.